Good morning, everyone. I often wondered that La Fontaine's writings are about ethics. So the ant would show us that we've got to be working hard. And that's where the meaning of life is. Why the grasshopper, the cicada in this case, is thinking summer is short, we've got to enjoy it. And then Perhaps it's not about ethics, perhaps it's about human behavior. Not only because sometimes we like to enjoy life and sometimes we like to work hard, but because we argue about two points that are imperfect. None of these, the cicada is not right. I don't think the ant is right either. We gotta be able to work hard and live hard as well. So with you, after La Fontaine's The Cicada in the Ant, or Grasshopper in the Ant, as is well known. This is a work by Antal Dorati, written for Heinz Holliger.
Welcome, everyone. We're thrilled to be here today um, for my wife and I. This is our very first time in Montana, and uh, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. So, um, <laughs> That having been said, we're going to take you to the northeast, to the Cape Cod. <laughs> Um, the, the piece that I'm going to play for you today is one movement out of four movements of a piece called Cape Cod Files by a colleague of ours in, in New York City named Paquito de Rivera. And um, the piece itself, Paquito is a jazz, uh, he's trained classically, but he's mainly a jazz um, saxophone and clarinetist. And uh, he wrote a, the four minute movement piece, I'll play one movement, it's a solo movement, the other three are surrounded by piano. Um, these are Cuban melodies. Um, jazz melodies written for, like clarinet improvis improvised printed um, melodies for uh, uh, the clarinet and uh, some of the most foremost Cuban composers. So I hope you enjoy this, it's kind of fun. It's going to seem a little bit, uh, I have about five pages to play but it goes by pretty fast. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess they figure I need more room. <laughs> I don't know what makes them think that. But I'll use the microphone. Anyway, um, I'll just say just a couple of words about the Ravel we've been doing. You might have noticed in the program it happens to be my arrangement, my effort not to mess, make a mess of it. Yeah, Ravel wrote this piece originally for uh, piano four hands, the, the Ravel piece we're doing. And very much, it was very common in, for the, the Impressionists, especially Debussy and Ravel, to write piano music, which they then orchestrated or was orchestrated actually by others at times. Um, these pieces, as Professor Zendel's notes are extremely well, well point out in the program, that, um, uh, that he had the idea of writing them for children when he started because uh, Ravel was very fond of kids, and in fact, when he, if he was at someone's home at a party or something, you were likely to find him with the children on the floor playing with their toys. He was that kind of person. Anyway, um, uh, I arranged this piece using the piano version. Uh, I'm a really, I'm a, you might say, trying to be a sneak thief. The piano version you might think of as the um, stick figures, if you first drew something in stick figures. And then we have Ravel's amazing orchestration of the piece. And so what I tried to do was steal his sound and hopefully not leave any traces of me behind. And so anything you hear that doesn't sound so great is my fault, so I apologize. Now, in terms of the Mignone, Francisco Mignone, Francisco Mignone, um, I have a, kin a feeling for him because he was the son of Italian immigrants to Brazil because I happen to be the grandson of Italian immigrants. And, and when Italians left, they didn't all just go north to Ellis Island. A lot of them went to Central and South America, including a lot in, in Brazil and in Argentina, for instance, and all over. And so Mignone's parents were actually very successful Italian uh, immigrant musicians in in uh, Rio, and uh, Ravel, uh, Ravel, Mignone was part of the first generation, uh, as I understand it, or saying the generation that was very interested. I sit here with a Brazilian behind me, but anyway, uh, <laughs> that wanted to establish their own sound, their own voice, a Brazilian, that they weren't um, uh, the result of just co co colonialization from Europe. And Villalobos was the, was the, uh, the, va and the vanguard of that. So Mignone, um, to me, these pieces are definitely have a Brazilian sound, I'm sure. They were written in sort of Shorto style, a kind of street music style of waltzes. And, but having grown up in an, in an Italian immigrant family and remembering hearing my family singing the old Neapolitan songs, I, I hear that also in this music. So he's definitely a Brazilian composer and took that to heart, as did Villalobos. So the first one's called Valsa Improvisata. It's just an improvised waltz. They're supposed to be kind of simple. And the second one has a funny title in that it says, essentially, this is the piece Villalobos didn't write. <laughs> so that was his own sort of inside joke, looking, you know, bowing to the master of Brazilian, if you want to say art music, classical music, whatever you want to call it. So uh, hope you enjoy them. I get an A from the boss, so I get <laughs> I realized I didn't review it with him before I said it, but anyway, I need to fix it. Sorry. <laughs>
Uh-huh. 
Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to be here. Very, very nice to be here. Um, my name is Daniel Hawkins, and uh, for the last solo piece we're going to be playing, I'm going to uh, take everyone to Spain. Um, I'm going to play a piece by, uh, by Vitaly Budinovsky. It's one of uh, movements from his piece that he wrote when he ventured around Europe and just heard these sounds that were coming around everywhere that he visited, and he put them onto this thing. <laughs> and this thing can make a lot of noise. So. Um, um, this one is España. It's one of the movements from this uh, piece, and it opens up with bells and crazy trills and things that just bring about the character of Spain. And it's very virtuosic, a lot of triple tongue, fast tonguing stuff, and it's just going to be a little wild. You can kind of hear um, some bull riding and kind of stuff like that uh, throughout it. So I hope you enjoy España by Buenovsky. Yeah. 
Thank <laughs> you.